Super Hits. 104.9 WAXI. Rockville, Clinton. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, that's what that is. All righty. We'll open this meeting with uh, it's Seward. Roger. All of it? Yes. You're up. I'm up. You're up. Well, I'm basically here for... Uh, Another go around on the Memory Garden Cemetery. Good. I uh, uh, hopefully there's pictures up there of all the limbs that are page down seven, out there. Page seven, page eight. And two dead trees, all in section G. I've seen the dead trees, yep. obviously. Yep. I'm wrong. Page eight, page nine. Got it. Anybody else want to look at? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm assuming you're, you're, you want them picked up, obviously, so. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know if we're waiting for cleanup day. It's well. 57 degrees today, and I couldn't <laughs> find a, and out there three different times, and there was all one soul out there before. Well, we, Jeff's not here, so we got two guys on the cemetery board. Either one of you guys want to speak to this, or? Yeah, we, we, sure. Mm -hmm. Kevin and I, sure. we're, on, we're on the board of Carla. Uh, yeah, we, we had a meeting a few weeks ago. And uh, in no uncertain terms, we expressed our, our, our uh, concern about taking care of the cemetery properly this year. I guess it didn't get through. Kevin, you want to add some Well, it gives you kind of the education of the board in general and the public existed. Um, you know, we did talk about you know, the, uh, the grave uh, preparation after the burial. Mm -hmm. Putting tabby down, sod cutting, looking to sod cutter, stuff like that, and make it a little bit easier. <laughs> Getting the swale out, some of this other stuff is just holding water. Mm -hmm. So there's still 30 or 40 graves out there from 21, 22, back to 20. And um, that's never been anything done with them. We did uh, impress upon Mr. Esslinger that uh, we had to get going on some of this stuff. Um, Park and I have recently have talked about, they cut, did cut down a dead tree over there on the north side uh, by the church, Apostolic Center. Uh, we also talked about you know, replacing some of these trees. As they take trees down, we replace one. Not necessarily in the, in the grave side areas, but from the perimeter. Uh, I was out there yesterday. I was through there again today, and I have to go with Roger, and you, know, you don't see a soul. Well, you know, let me put it this way, Roger. 30 days it'll be done, there'll be some people gone. Pardon me? 30 days from today it will be done. Everything that, there's somebody gonna be gone. Period. I've had it with this bullshit. Well, it will happen. You all heard me. 30 days. I hope you all there to vote with me. So, that's my gonna be my solution. We'll find somebody who can do it. Okay? I'm saying, there's, there's gotta be a solution to this. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on find one. <laughs> Complain, well, you know, we don't like to see it. We like it, but we don't like to see it because we know we got a problem. <coughs> but, you know, thank goodness you come and bring it to us. I mean, yeah, it's just, uh, there's just no respect shown to, yeah. to the cemetery. Yeah. And, it's, I mean, it'd, it'd be different if it was just last year, but it's been freaking 20 years. Well, we will have it taken care of or we will find an alternative source of people to do it. Because, I mean, 30 days. Where's I mean, my damn last, calendar? Last, last time I was here, I was thinking any of you out there on a tour of that cemetery right now. There's. So, March 20th, Roger. Come back and see me. Unless it's on Monday. What is it, Monday? Well, does that answer satisfy you? Yep. Okay. I'll, I'll go have dinner. Thank All right. You. Okay. Thank, thank you, Roger. You got your phone? Whose phone's this, Roger? Oh, that's Pardon ours. Me? It's ours. Is that yeah. ours? Okay. Yes. Never mind. Yeah. Go get yours. Uh, mm, who's yeah. the other? Thank, thank you, Roger. Who's the other appointee to the cemetery? Clint, you ready? Carla. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys need to see a copy of the mm. floor plan for Benjamins. Oh, okay. This the new one? Uh, I can tell you my very first question is part of the problem with the other. Yeah, oh, there's a covered patio right there. The, so this is I don't think 
Yeah. Like the drainage pipes, the sewer pipes, whatever. It's not the same layout. Made bigger. Whatever that bump out, whatever that is. I think they did some work, but originally. Banquet room. Just Ooh, how about that? Seats 96. I think, um, what, what, what my investigation of the sewer line when we were, the building yeah. was still present, um, was there was That's one good. line, according to the town, uh, centrally located. If you look at the print, <clears> where I've relocated the bathrooms, um, right here, I'm going to install a grease trap okay. by code. I have to put yep. a grease trap. Yep. And my sewer line is is literally right there. So I'm going to take it on into the building, pick up these two bathrooms. Okay. And there'll be a separate sewer line that comes from the kitchen area to the grease trap. Okay. Um, so we've tried to relocate things okay. in the building to mm -hmm. make more sense for the mechanicals that were already there. Because okay. he put down that new blacktop and... Yeah. We don't want to cut up any more than we have to, right. and that sewer line runs at, at an angle mm -hmm. back to the highway, mm -hmm. so we have to cut the whole thing up. Um, but it is PVC, it is four inch, um, and with the bathrooms being right there, I, I hope to you okay. know circumvent any problems yeah. that he may have. And then as far as like the grease trap, I don't think the state requires it, but um, we work with a plumbing supplier that's in yeah, Lafayette. As much as you right, definitely. and and he said, well, it's it's a it's a, mm. a county code more than it is a state. And mm. I said, well, what do they want in Lafayette? They said at least one grease trap. Mm -hmm. And I said, then put me a quote in for one, and I'll I'll build it into my quote. So we at least are going to give him an upgrade of a grease trap. Okay. So if you ever change the the code, mm -hmm. you know, within the county, then it, he's already kind of covered. Um, looking towards the future, because this is a big building. There's a lot of seats in here. Um, you know, the kitchen's essentially the same size as what he had, but it's efficient. Um, and new freezers, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. every, everything will be, everything will be new. Yeah. But um, as far as why I'm here today yeah. is, I guess we have to start the process for a variance. Um, so that, I don't know if you guys saw Josh's email that came yeah, out just like 30 minutes it. ago or however long ago. Oh. I don't know how okay, long. You want it? I saw it 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I've not seen it yet. Um, I, didn't, I thought we had a variance that we just needed to kind of update. That's what I thought too, but it reads like the one I just read anyway. Read, read like they need one and there wasn't a variance there. So if that's the case, if there's not a variance there already... Um, he would have to go through zoning to get a variance. If there was a variance, since they're tacking on to the existing building, it'd be something that he'd just need approval through you guys. Um, I don't know if this is the one I just got. Though. Oh, there's well, I printed that out this there's morning. There's one that came through my email. There's, there's, there's something else. There's prices and stuff. Yeah, yeah I just I can forward it to you if you want. Well, I got it. I think you're on it. Yeah, it came through at 320. Well, I didn't get that one. Or three. It came through at three. Yeah, I, back in December when we it? started this, he was... Um, you know, hey, Josh, there is, we're good to go. You just, you know, it. fill out the paper. And, well, he needed a print. So mm -hmm. I was waiting. Mm -hmm. Finally got my print, and now here we are, you know, crossing the bridge. Yeah. That's what he said. Well, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Sure. This is, you guys can we're looking at six down, months. Yeah. Um, depending on, I'm trying to get everything nailed down so I can order materials and we can get the, the groundwork done. And then it's, you know, it's just a box from there. But, mm -hmm. but six months might be eight. We're shooting for, shooting to have it done before it gets that's too cold. Yeah, that's what we're shooting for. But <laughs> so, it's so a big building, big build. So basically, you aren't wanting to be any closer to the road than the previous building was. No. It? So so if you go down there where his blacktop ended, there was a sidewalk there, and we were essentially going to maintain where the old building was and just. Jesus put it back morning, right yeah. where it was and according to Josh he liked that because it conformed mm -hmm. with all the buildings mm -hmm. on that side of the road um, on east So does he west. need a variance or not? I mean, he does based on what Josh's most recent email said he looked and then they can't find one on file anywhere so he'll have to have a variance to meet the requirements and he's going to need something to give to the state to show he got the variance. Okay so the BZA he has to go to BZA yeah, which is Thursday, Thursday night. So. Uh, well, hell, did you have to come back to us again? Not if you're okay with whatever the BZA says. Good. We're okay. I'm okay with it. I mean, he, he basically going right back where it was. Yeah, so the only major change is if you look at the print, we've moved the banquet room from the east side mm. of the building to the west, but it's all the way to the south corner. So we're not interfering. I mean, essentially, the rest of the building's the same footprint. It's just we've added that kick out where the banquet room is, um, so it's not so cramped. 
but the, the inside footprint changes a little bit, but, but as far as the structure goes, we've added some square footage because of the banquet room, but I have to meet different coats. Where he had built on with the new freezers and coolers, mm -hmm. where are they going? So, um, you have the other copy of that print. I think both of them migrated down there. Oops, I'll it away so, um, his coolers used to be uh, like right here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're pushing them. Well, you can see the line there. Okay. So we're pushing them back. Gotcha. He'll have a, a ramp that comes in the back and then his coolers and then it'll go into the kitchen. This okay. was where the banquet room was is yes. where the kitchen is now. Okay. So then we've moved the kit or the banquet gotcha. room down there. So do we need to do we need to do a formal action? Do we need to based on what BCA they approve it, do we need a formal thing? Yeah, just if you guys are okay with whatever they approve, just formal Yeah, I move that uh, providing BCA approves the uh, proposal by Mr. Kramer for Benjamin's uh, that we uh, mm -hmm. I second. Agree with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You second that? Mm -hmm. All favor? Aye. 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 Fair enough. Okay. Thursday, Thursday here at 4 o'clock. Yeah. At 4. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Clint. Right. Hey, Clint, give me a call right. tomorrow if you would. Will do. And yeah, I'll, like I All said, right. I can handle it or those letters. If I probably have to have them sign the paper or something. Yeah, I, I can kind of help you with that, though. I have a, I have a form <coughs> I can give you. Is it 500 foot? we got to hit multiple It's a, um, adjoining property under, is what we've done in town. Well, his parcel is the next one to the west. <laughs> That's good. So, I mean, I don't. Yeah, we'll look at it on the on the map. Yep. All right. Any other questions for me as far as the? Okay. See you guys. See you. Thanks, Clint. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Here, one, two. Um, <laughs> yes. Where are we at? I'm ready. Yep. Um. So you have Clean. the report emailed. To on the table for claims are 490, 539, 38 for approval. Yeah, it's some, a lot of stuff. What's these darn NSF? We've got a couple NSF things, like $200. Is that an insufficient fund thing? Yep. Oh, dear. When those that are writing bad checks, wow. rather than leaving those set there, then it looks as if their utility bill is still paid. Okay. So we're making those corrections and backing those back out. Make sure those people get those taken care of on time, that they don't have a paid status on their utility We, uh, just so the board to aware, we, we pay over $9,000 to IDM for a darn permit every year. That's an uh, expensive permit. Uh, and just wanted to do a good job. Bill kept the fuel for January $1,360. That's, uh, wow. what, 7800 below budget. Uh, yeah. I moved to approve. So Very second. Good. Very good. Favor. Aye. 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 Okay, and the only other thing I have are several copies of minutes to finish oh, out the year. Yeah. So there's, they're all tagged, and then Chris, the last two here are the ones that your name will be on. So if you just want to look at the date for January as you go through those, Aye. you'll Motion be able to, to approve. Sign second. Those. Thank you. Favor. Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Say I read them all, so did you guys read them? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, oh, sorry. Huh? Oh, claims. Oh, there's a cup on her desk right over there. Or on the edge Did there. Did I steal? Claims. From Where? On the edge by my <laughs> phone. There's <laughs> pins laying there, too, if you see them. Yep. Any, any of them is fine. All right. One thing I missed today. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so Nick, um, at Thursday's meeting, you, or, you'll have a framing to check that they can sign, and then I'll just use that based on my documentation here for approval. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'll have one there. <clears throat> okay. That way he doesn't have to come back to us again. Yeah. yeah <clears throat> Hey, do you want to talk about park while we're waiting? Park. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, I mean, anything I want to talk about? you want to talk about? Oh, gee. Uh, yeah, gosh, what's on the top of my mind right now? Well, I'll tell you what, on this matter, I'll get out about the cemetery. I've had it. Uh, I mean, I'm ready to let people go now. I'm done. I'm done. We would talk and talk and talk. Kevin, uh, how do you feel, bud? <laughs> hey, like a lot of you here have been business owner, business manager, 
And I guess I just have to say is that I, I'd love to tell wives and dogs, and if somebody wants to do it, they don't do it. And it's been months and months and months since Roger showed up, and it's, it's not rocket science. It's dirt, it's compacting, and it's <laughs> putting grass yeah, back. It's dirt. It's grass. You know, Sticks. I drove through the other day um, uh, to look, and for example, it's a beautiful cemetery, really. A nice area, and you got five dump truck loads of, of, of filled dirt right there off the edge of the road. Put it behind the trees, take down the old cemetery. There's a lot of things to be done. I do think that, uh, that Jeff, at our last meeting, we put together a schedule. I thought we were trying to solve some problems, looking at a sod cutter and all that stuff, but it's now it's been, I guess, crickets now. I'm not sure that, uh, that we've solved the problem. Well, I don't think we solved anything. Uh, obviously, mm. we, we, we just got uh, lectured on our, our condition of our cemetery again. Uh, and nothing else, uh, he's persistent. And it's good. We, we, it shouldn't be the way it is. Well, uh, his, main, his main concern was, you know, I did notice, uh, again, right now, that's kind of mounded up from the newer graves. Uh, right. Still mounded up like Boot Hill. Um, uh, what's the action plan to get that tamped down and, and dirt added to it? So it's ready for sod or whatever. Um, Roger's main concern seems to be the, the concave great size mm. of holding water and etc. So, you know, I, I was right across the street from me, so I'm just going to kind of do a little hand holding from now until March 20th. Well, March 20th, I don't know if I want to wait that long, but but I, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm stewing at the moment. Uh, they better be done with March 20th. It takes the whole damn crew out there. Um, of course, that's just one of five, but, uh, I don't want to see Roger under these circumstances for a long time. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I don't want to be aggressive to Jeff or crew like that. Mm. But, you know, I, I've been in landscape business for almost 30 years. It's just grass. Yeah. It's not rocket science. I tried to make it into rocket science. I tried to charge like it was rocket science. <laughs> but it's not. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Oh, what else on my mind here? Uh, golly. Got to thank Mimpolay today about their their plan first quarter. We met with them last oh, Wednesday. Uh, good meeting. There's a couple things there. We talked about South Market. Talked about the festival uh, hookups mm. on the west side. Uh, Ken Olson was here for Structure Point. Mm. Uh, you know they're doing they're doing event boxes in the ground. They bring the power to the southwest corner. Have a I think probably an on ground transformer or something there, and the power will go along the west side there. The west side, the east side of Market, if you will. And there'll be event boxes. Just putting them exactly where is, is the only thing you need to figure out. And there'll be RV cords like I think we talked about before. Extension cords, I think they call them RV extension cords. You run those to the shacks. And the shacks have to be updated a little bit. But that'd be nice and clean. And uh, that's kind of what was decided there. Uh, um, and then we just talked about what they've been doing, you know, and came out with a nice little presentation of, of all the projects, whatnot they've been working on and completed, and they've got their poll, I think what's it's a poll thing out mm -hmm. for the first quarter of 2023. Um, looks like there's nine polls on here. And they want to meet quarterly rather than... Yeah, they want to meet quarterly. Uh, yeah, what else? Uh, <clears throat> where's all my stuff I had here? I guess, well, like, we could, we're, we're going to go over... Uh, Jeff stuff here in a minute. I don't want to hog the floor here. Anybody else? <laughs> <coughs> well, there may or may not be, depending on whether that bill passes, uh, may change the TIF district. Yeah, yeah the TIF so, district. Somebody got their feathers ruffled in some districts, and I want to pass some ridiculous changes to affect every TIF district in the state, appears. Same thing with food and beverage tax. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the requirements would be a lot more of a burden. Um, but yeah, that's uh, what's going on at the State House. Okay. Okay, Nick. Nice to know, by the way. I, so I don't have a lot for the public meeting. Um, next ordinance violation dates February 21st, court date. And that's on South Market, the museum over there. Um, so I'll get with Bill and see what we need before then. And then 404 Indiana is the next one after that. It's set May 30th. So there's a couple set on May 30th, but those are the next two ones there before the judge. 
um, South Market one, they did redo their front windows, which is what was the primary concern with them. <coughs> the museum. I, I do have a question about some of the remodel or some of the homes that we're selling, right. um, specifically the one here on South Jefferson. We, we kind of told you we wanted a date, you know, in a contract that, you know, they had so much time. Um, <coughs> to tear it down, I, you mean? No, no, to redo it. Um, redo, okay, buy back up, redo what? Redo the house, you know. Uh, to clean it up. It's not clean it up. And, and I hear it's not perhaps. salvageable. I've talked to. I, I don't know. I, that'd be a building inspector question, not a me. We're talking about the one that's up for bid right now in South yeah. Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah. I hear it's unsalvageable. I thought we were going to put something in the contract that has to be torn down within so many months. Well, I, I think th that's what we did, but I don't know. I mean, has Josh deemed it as inhabitable? I don't think he's looked at it. Okay. Um, that's not the one I have. I have one from him that's currently going through the court cycle that he has found to be that way, but it wasn't that okay. property. Where's that one at? Um, well, yeah, well yeah, I, 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 I was asked a question today if we would be willing as a board to if that place is in, is structurally little, sound uh, would we be willing to extend that the date of and I think as long as we see progress down there I don't think any of us would have a problem with it but I mean as long as you know, well, I was all going home for an excavator but okay if it's salvageable I guess we can back off the excavator um, so uh, contractually, yeah. we can do what whatever we need to. I mean, you can amend <coughs> that too, but we'll want something in writing before it's actually. Well, I mean, we could actually put a date. You know, we could. You know, we want to see this by this date. This, you know, right? And it, yeah. Well, can we have Josh go take a look at it? Just give us an idea. Somebody in the town. Yeah, we can. I, I mean, the main thing's Ooh. foundation, I yeah. suppose. I mean, he looked at the museum, and he's looked at another one. So, I mean, he knows what he's looking for, and he gives me good details on everything that he has. I think it'd be so. wise to look at it before we decide. Uh, we uh, Originally, we were just set to uh, say it has to be torn down. Uh, I'm flexible, though. I'll I think there's there's been a couple people interested that have <clears throat> spoken to me about that and want to know if it is not inhabitable, then can they actually? I mean, if the foundation and... Part of it's still good. There are a couple people that are willing to basically flip that and yeah, and, and seems, still make it a decent. Seems to be a hot market in town, oh, right? So. Now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, contractually, we can put whatever we want into a sales contract okay. on that and just set the closing date to the back end of whenever they have to comply by. Okay. Well, I guess what I was asking at the board, you know, if they were willing to at least entertain that that thought. I mean, if that may hinge on whether somebody actually wants to buy it or not, I guess. So wh whether they can stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. Like how long are they thinking? I don't, I don't know. Well, anybody, any, any, anyone wants to turn to investment property or, you know, mm -hmm. they can, they're going to be, they're contractors. They're going right. to be quick. Uh, I would think. Yeah, you know, I guess I, I, I hold my mm -hmm. opinion until I hear back from Josh. Well, we had our two appraisals done, so I mean, we met our requirements okay. there, but there wasn't any takers as far as that. So, okay. um, well, yeah. but we can... Usually what happens to whoever the highest bidder is, you have the opportunity to negotiate and try to reach a, a agreement <coughs> as to time frames and things like that. Well, so, this guy, I, think, I mean, he's, he's <coughs> reputable, and he's already working on at least one house. So, I mean, I, he's definitely, I mean, he's <coughs> community-minded. He's a lifelong, you know, resident, so... Well, that's the goal with all these properties, as you guys know, is that it's not that we're wanting to regulate property we're just trying to make it so it's fair to your neighbors and fair to the town as a whole we don't have these blighted properties so but yeah i mean if you want josh to look at that he, he knows what he's doing that way he's done a couple already so okay. that's all i have for that so. um she did ask about the other property i'll you'll have to give me a sec on that i can tell you before the meeting's over as to which one he had looked at previous to that but um, let's talk to bill we have about 13 or 14 of them. This one was written up by Josh, not by Bill, though. The okay. one that she asked me about. But okay. Josh had, or, uh, Bill has a never ending list that he's written up. So. <laughs> but, uh, but Josh had looked at those two, and we got the one over on market in decent shape. But I'll get with Bill and Josh on it before court. 
Anyway, that's all I have as okay. far as public meeting. All right, thank you. Bill? Go out of order, I'll wait for Melissa to get back in here before I go over item number one. But item number two, we ordered a radar cable uh, so that we connect we can connect the back uh, radar cone to the radar unit, uh, send everything in, told them what it was, it didn't fit, so we're working on getting that replaced. Uh, DOC got a grant for tablets and mounts. The mounts have been ordered. Actually, the mount, some of the mounts arrived today. The other mounts have been ordered. Uh, tablets have been ordered. We have VIN numbers for the Ford Explorers, mm -hmm. so they should start building those in March. Uh, so I was reviewing what we pay for every month and noticed that we had the uh, phone line for the RPD. It was over $300. I thought that was kind of crazy, so I called them up. <coughs> Why is it so high? They said we were out of contract. So uh, they said they could get it lowered down to where we're paying about $200 less a month or so. Uh, so I called uh, Dave and, and Park and said, hey, this, this is one of those we really need a board approval to do this, but we're also paying an <coughs> absorbent amount of money for a phone line that shouldn't cost more than 80 to $100 at the most, I think, for any business no more than when you're using it and uh, they said go ahead to go ahead and make that uh, uh, contract so I had them upgrade the contract so we are now paying a lot less and they're going to give us reimbursement for this month so the next month ought to be free and maybe part of the month after that uh, also to let you know our reserves are working we've utilized over 200 hours of reserve officer service in January and February so Job. Uh, they're doing a great job coming out and helping us out. <clears throat> okay. Very good, very good. Working on the budget, so that's a good deal. Yeah. Good catch on the phone line, by the way. Oh, no. So, thanks, Bill. Saving us twenty-four hundred dollars a year, so well, that's a good thing. So, well, Jeff's not here, uh, obviously. Um, Let's go over his stuff. I got his. We'll go over his items. Yeah. All right. Uh, looks like a Crossing Grant 2023 one pending. That'd be the, uh, well, that'd be what? The Anderson and, and, and uh, help me here, the uh, um, Howard and Walt. Yeah. Uh, finally closed out the uh, 2022 one? Is that two? No, one. Because 2022 two is still. Still, it's out for bid. Uh, okay. Cemetery rate increases. I know we talked about that some, didn't we, Kevin? Uh, well, did we approve? We approved that. Now. We did approve them. I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember what it was. Did, who, who took minutes? Carla? I haven't seen those. No. Yeah, we need to get uh, those to Brandy. Uh, they have to be advertised. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a ton, but it was. No, just. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Trying a little to keep more though when getting it straightened up. Trying to keep we're gonna start charging more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean <laughs> charging more for not much work. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing here and it's a doozy electrical <clears throat> quote for transformers. If you guys look at that thing, good <clears throat> lord. Um yeah. is this it one for twenty thousand. Well yeah, well yeah, there, there's one for twenty four thousand. This is uh What's this dude here? It's from Powerline Supply. Uh, attention, Miss Stephanie Dow. They haven't updated the clerk treasurer in a while, have they? Uh, <laughs> that's a couple removed. <laughs> uh, okay. What in the hell is this thing? We'll close your time. Um, here, you look at that one, Dave. I got another one here that has three different, what are these things? These are single phase, these are transformers here too, what each one costs, 100 kilovolt, 267 and 150 kilovolt amp. The little guy's 10,000, the 167 is 21.4 and the 150 is 23,000. Uh, this is to go where? Well, okay, here, let me read the email, the email here. Um, Okay, these are backups for businesses in town, which we currently have none. Oh, because um, didn't we have one go out? We had one go out, and uh, uh, we loaned out to some town via uh, IMPA, and it's supposed to be 
we, our replacement's supposed to be back here soon. Right? They talked about that last week. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, basically these would be a backup for each of the three sizes. Here's the thing: it's 41 to 43 week lead time to get these things. Yeah. Oh so my gosh. Do. So. Even if we order them now, we might not have them by the end of the year. Don't know. What's this dude here? Is this another? This uh, is. It's what it looks like. Just another transfer. Well, what? 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 That's what it looks like. Well, it says. Or uh, switch. And I, I don't have an email to go with this. What's this quote for? Descriptions aren't. Well, they're not for laymen. That's for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen week lead time on it. Okay. Project name Ooh. is a five hundred and sixty amp twelve K A uh yeah, got it. I don't I don't uh let me see it again. Yeah, it's like okay, that's outside of these, I, I assume. These are the three backups. Is that something he needs right now or what is that thing? Can't get it right now. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> he needs to order now to have it in years. I don't know. I don't. I used to try to print on emails. I didn't print one out for that one. Um, otherwise, I can't keep things straight. Anyway, do we with those? Do we not pay till they come in? I don't know. That's how it was with the polls. We didn't pay till they came in. Are you with the paper tonight, Mark? Yeah. Well, hi, said no. <laughs> Substituting. Okay. I think it's a transformer. <clears throat> yeah, I mean it. I mean it's some kind of. Yeah, I have sun belt. That's for uh, that's for the for three the three, three backups. Yeah, this is power line supply. Um, that is the okay, sun belt. The transformers would be used as backups for existing businesses yeah. in Charlotte. Yeah. None. Um, some examples, delay time. And here you've got another hmm. one. You said? Yeah. The other one's power line supply, I think. Yeah. Power line supply. Um, anyway, how's board feel about I don't know if that's an underground. I mean, is there. Obviously, it's hard to read, but it's talking about an enclosure, mm -hmm. so that could be either below ground or it could be. I mean, we've got those stand ups that I don't know where the hell they use them at, but could that be something for that? Well, I found one of those closures, those big gray ones you see at the top yeah. of the pole. Yeah, it's called an enclosure. So I don't know if it's something for well, it's a three South phase. Or Are you talking about the Sun Belt ones? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, um, power lines. It's mm. a, it's a three power phase, supply. dude. Uh, What's it called? Power. Power line supply. Like well, I guess the question for the board is: Do we? We should probably have a one of each size and most common transformers around to to. Uh, case the power goes out. Well, it takes one blows up or gets yeah, in the lightning. The email said the yeah, lightning. The business would be affected would be New Hope, Superior, Let the Plate, Dairy Queen, BP, Benjamins, O'Reilly's Family Dollar. Given our recent poll order, other projects we could potentially hold off. Uh, what we do have one transformer that we can send in for repair that will help out with minimal expense. Um, okay. Well... Again, should we have backups? I would say yes. Um, yeah. So the Sun Belt, the quote from the Sun Belt. Uh, I, I, well, I, 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 these aren't compared. Supposed to be two, two, uh, two different quotes. Well, assuming right? the way you read it, I mean, it's they're they're backups. So well, these are, but I don't know about this guy. I don't know. If it's supposed to be a uh, the power line supply is supposed to be something we. Uh, Need right maybe now. We, maybe we move on the sun belt and hold off till we find out what the power line supply thing is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kind of motion. Yeah, I, I moved to have uh, have the uh, the backup transformers. Uh, All three. Well, you know we we don't have any. What do we do? There's a big lead time. Forty forty week lead time. I'll hmm. second the motion. 
Hall of Famer. Well, Melissa, I mean, hold on. I mean, what, I mean, you said all three. I mean, yeah, it's it's uh, seventy five. What is it? Uh, 20, 20, 40, You know, sixty thousand dollars in transformers. Mm-hmm. We're talking about. How long have we been without backups? I can't answer that. I know one backup we had. Don't know what size we loaned out to another town that didn't have a backup. Mm-hmm. And we're supposed to be getting that. And of course, that one's coming in. I don't know what size it is, but it's supposed they, to be coming back. They said it should be here any time now. That's what they uh, told me. What guys told me last week. <clears throat> but given these lead times, I don't know. I I, I, I just have mm-hmm. a concern. But I, I, it'd be nice to have a little more information. But well, I know we traded some out with New Hope. The ones I think the ones we have are too small, weren't they? Yeah. And then. Well, so I mean, it's we definitely need to have them. So the chances are the prices won't go down. Well, soon. there you go. Yeah, wait, wait a year and see what they cost. I, uh, I googled that one that you have on the left there, and like some of them are like sixty thousand dollars. So yeah. it's, <clears throat> it doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> Okay, so we had motions made second uh, on the Sun Belt and three different size transformers. All in favor? Aye. 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 Power line supply, <laughs> that dude for 24,988. We need to find out what is that for? Yeah. Um, Did you say power line? Power so line. We can step out, somebody can step out and call Brett, I guess. And Anybody got Brett number? Anybody has I saw it just a second ago, the email. I don't think I have his number. Substation reclosure. Oh, that's what this is. This is a substation reclosure. Yeah, what's it say? For substation reclosure that we found it failed. The unit in this quote is identical to the one that was in the substation. Sorry for the delay in getting the quote back to you. That's the one that was failing when it got real cold. Yes. <clears throat> it's a 15 week lead time on this one. So that's what it is. Ah. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Thanks for finding it. Thank you. Aye. Aye. Well, there you go. There's 60, there. 70, <laughs> about 85,000 in electrical supplies we just approved. <coughs> that's quick. Oh. <coughs> Lights are important. Okay. We haven't got but four or five lines down. We've cost in a fortune. Um, did anybody look over that Title IV revision? Goals, achievement stuff that he sent out, Jeff sent out. I kind of perused over it, but I didn't really. Uh, he said approval of. I mean, I always. Uh, <clears throat> well, did they really read it? We don't have it here on the table before oh. us. Um, <clears throat> he also has approval of ADA transition plan revision. Isn't that something? Susie can't believe what or somebody. I didn't tell you. Uh, mm. I read it. Do you know anything about that title four? I did those the last two years. I mean, it's something for funding that you have to have in place to get certain type of funding through the state or federal government. Well, we have to have for the community crossing, I believe. You have to have yeah. your. So I've done a couple as I don't know if you just used the template I had already done or not, but. If you have it printed, I can look at it real quick. I can. I didn't print it out. Oh, okay. well, I, I try to print everything, but sometimes I just don't get it. My paper budget. We, is we out had to do those a couple of years ago um, for something they come <coughs> asking every so often. Um, Well, Nick's looking for that. I've got another invoice here. It's from Fort Hall Company, Preventing Maintenance Plan. Did you guys read this one about the, the, the brushes uh, uh, on the uh, clarifier <coughs> thing, I believe? Uh, what do we have here? Preventing Maintenance Program, two clarifiers. Brushes are included. Part required per photo inspection. Total parts in preventing maintenance forty four hundred fifty six dollars down at the sewer plant. Um, so I don't see it on his list. I see you got wastewater treatment plan number eight. I don't see anything after it. <coughs> uh, I would assume this is probably where that would fall. Um, 
Well, yeah, you want to stay in compliance with IDM, that's for sure. Um, so it sounds like, if it's a preventing maintenance plan, the following is outlined service provided Ford Hall factory if they should do a service. Was There's that, nobody from EMAC here tonight, no, that's strange. Was that, was that one of the things maybe that Troy had recommended? It probably is. Uh -huh. um, but back to EMAC absence, I... Uh, We uh, need to stress that uh, there should be someone here from them. That's kind of unusual. I know, I know it is. Uh, I know sometimes we have three. <laughs> One way back to this, I would. Uh, Maybe they recognize this the holiday. They might think we did. Mm -hmm. They probably did. Yeah, they're private. They mm -hmm. don't have holidays, but they probably thought we did. Mm -hmm. It could be. But they did. <laughs> well, I mean, we can talk to Bruce. And... Well, I believe Lee is correct. That's where this originated from. But they went down there and inspected the clarifier and the brushes, and some of the brushes are shot. And uh... what's it cost on it? Do you want to the first line, it's a real quick? Huh? If you do want to the first real quick, will that clarify that? There is a deadline. Take care of that question. No. Okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay. It's a fun related thing. Mm -hmm. um, just to kind of reiterate, I just talked to the clerk treasurer, but the, the ADA transition plans and things like that, that's something that we've done in the past, so I don't know if they've reached out to Jeff wanting something from him that's new. But we've passed a lot of those things already back in 2021 yeah. um, to get our funding back then. Usually what they do is they'll send a letter out and they'll ask for an update on what our progress is towards being entirely compliant. You're not required to be entirely compliant all at once, but you have to make steps toward uh -huh. being compliant. So we, we had the majority of those things already passed previously. And last year what I did was I sent them information showing that we made some additional steps toward being entirely compliant. Mm -hmm. So what I would suggest is you just let me get with Jeff and I can see what mm -hmm. he received and see what he's needing. But a lot of those things are already in place through the town. So um, okay. my guess is they're just wanting to update on where we're at as far as getting entirely compliant. Um, which most communities aren't entirely compliant yet. But we did pass a lot of that back in 2021. <laughs> At least that's my recollection. So, I would okay. say we can make a motion on that. That's going to be, I mean, that's maintenance. Uh, there's some issues with some, some of the uh, parts. I mean, for 4500 bucks. I mean, we're getting, there's quite a bit of maintenance the way it looks. I'll make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, he want copy of these two things that we approved. Mm -hmm. And this dude here, what we do with the power line supply? I've already forgotten. I think we decided to wait. Or no, we approved this. Yeah. We did approve it. Yeah, yeah, it was a substation. Yeah, yeah. I'm old. That's all right. Yeah, we approved <laughs> that too. too. Yeah, take all three of those. Those were approved. You just open the door. You missed that one. I almost did the door, I think. Um, <laughs> okay, where are we at here? Utility relocation, South Market begins. Um, water improvement project, second Oak application submitted, award to be announced in February. That's coming up any day. 41 Sioux expansion, that'd be up north there. Wow, those holes yeah. out there are huge. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was thinking, like, yeah. South Market. <laughs> yeah. South Market Street. Uh, Tree, tree clearing to the location of the way, charging station information. Something about ready to begin pre work for installation. UMAX is going to be doing a boring on that. Uh, I, I guess. Uh, You're skipping over that. I'm going over this, this thing. I didn't. You go. Uh, this is That's 2 6. This is 220. Oh. Or 220. Well, that would explain it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm the only one that has confusion in my life. Uh, anyway. Where were we? Uh, well, back to the charging station boring stuff on the parking lot. We don't even know where the damn property line is. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to wait. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little concerned still. Uh, I, yeah, Roger Rogers well, said in an email that he, he 
Well, isn't he going to do the survey? Yeah. It's, yeah. Not done. it's not done, so we can't bore. I don't think so. It wasn't three days ago. Well, he's supposed to be here well, Wednesday night for storm water, Roger is. Um, Roger and Steve, I think. Yeah, but Roger, uh, he sent an email or something late last week about the survey uh, got it or get it, or I, I don't remember the exact well, wording. Well, I, I know there's another set of plans out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and the electric charging station mm -hmm. would probably be in a totally different location from what we're looking at right now. If, you know... I mean, my personal feeling on that parking lot right now is that if we own what is being speculated, I definitely like the footprint that Luke put together. I mean, well, it's much more uh, aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, uh, I don't know if we can use a finished material that he used. Well, no, I'm talking about just the footprint. Right. Footprint itself. Just the footprint, I mean, how it's laid out. I don't remember where the heck the charging stations are in that. Do you? Are, well, we are we paying him for that? He, no, no. Okay. Chain, I think he brought him down to towards the east. Hmm. They've got a uh, handicap, which the handicap makes sense because we'll have a walkthrough right there. He's got the handicaps on the on the east side, um, close to the sidewalk. Yeah, close to yeah. There'll be a walkthrough okay. basically to the sidewalk to the clock area, hmm. and that's where he's got the, you know. I mean, it's a beautiful design. I don't know if we can do it all, but, I mean, it's definitely... Well, it takes a rectangle parking yeah. lot and makes it not so rectangular. Right. Uh, if that makes any sense. Well, yeah. It, I mean, it keeps... It, I mean, it'll add a couple more parking spots, and it keeps it all within a confined area, unlike mm. what the design we're looking at right now, which is, again, I'm going to argue with this, but I think it's ridiculous to put a curb... In the middle of the parking lot, it, it just it makes no sense. Are you referring to the south curb? Um, yeah, I'm talking about the south mm. curb. If we run, basically, they want to put a curb where the blacktop line is right now, and then obviously we'll have a, a contained parking lot, and then have angle parking outside of it against the curb. We, th we, we on, on ground we don't even know what we actually own or at this point. We don't even know where the line is. No, that's what I'm saying. But that's, I, I mean, we're speculating that. We own all this, and if that's the way we're going to, I mean, if that's right. the design right. we go with, but we want to put a curve on the well, south line that makes David, no sense. I, I, I'm uh, just, I, I, no, I, I'm not. I'm not one, it's a trip hazard. I know. You I know. know. Well, here's the thing. Until we get the line, we can't really do anything, firm Ooh. up anything, until we get the darn property line, once we have that. So is Roger surveying it then? Or? Him or uh, he's contracting? I don't, I don't know. <coughs> he's an engineer. He's not a surveyor. <coughs> uh, yeah, but he's got people that mm -hmm. in, yeah. his, in his company. But uh, once we get the line, we know exactly what we have to work with. And once we have that... On we, January 30th, he said he'd, he ordered the survey. Thank you. Uh, but until then, everything else is speculation. Right. And, 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 and once we have that, I think we had needs to have what I call it the parking lot meeting. We need to have a meeting just about the parking lot and, and hammer this thing out. We have... Uh, it's amazing how much time a little lot can take. I, I do have a question about, we talked about this today. If, if we are invited as a group to a meeting, not here, is that possible as long as we're not making decisions? Or? As long as you're not taking any official action or anything like that. Okay, so it's all five like, of it, us it can't could be... be your, it can't be your meeting and you guys can't right. vote on anything or take any right, official right. action. So that's... Uh, I mean, so if we're well, just like we went meeting. to the sidewalk, uh, the pathway right. thing, there was yeah. more, more than two of us there. Yeah. Okay, so the same scenario. Um, okay. I mean, as long as it's not your meeting. I mean, yeah, you can't take any action whatsoever. Right. You can receive information. I mean, we can it. talk, but we just can't take any action. You can receive information and things like that, but whoever's can hosting... Debate. Who, whose meeting is it? Who's hosting the meeting? Uh, probably Luke. Okay, so it's just a, a thing to have information then? Right. I mean, he, he'd like for us to go over these plans. and I mean, a presentation, probably like what, what he did with the sidewalk. I'd just have a meeting and have it open to the public and let him present information. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah, he's, 
I mean, it doesn't take us anything to run a notice that, you know, there's a meeting on this day. Is it just us and him meeting then? Or? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. That email. There's been too many emails. My gosh, a lot of emails in the last I mean, week. you can even meet in an executive session well. and receive that kind of information if you want to. Oh, no need. But, right. So, I just run a notice that there's a meeting on this date and you guys are going to be discussing whatever you discuss. And okay, well, we need to firm that up. Uh, but, yeah, until we get that line, we, we just, we're, we're speculating. Uh, so, we await the survey. Uh, under E, we have Jackson Voorhees Beetle. <clears throat> <clears throat> I print, printed, printed it out today. Uh, I think it's today. I don't know. Maybe it's yesterday. PER in progress for water and sewer on the Jackson Voorhees Bo Bo Beetle. Dave informed me that Miller is going to do the camera work in Jackson Voorhees. Uh, put Roger in hold regarding his camera work. That's old news. Next stormwater board meeting is 222, which is this, this, this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Roger and Bruce will be there. Discuss the I&I plan. Oh. Yeah, the inf infiltration plan. Um, apparently, Roger's down here last week doing some looking at uh, I and I for something to have to to respond to to uh, IDM. Okay, and then we have parking lot. Um, yeah, interesting uh, email or text. I think it was today about the sidewalk and eighty thousand pound tracks all going that over. Would crush that immediately. You know, we have the same problem over there in the old uh, Jackson Jack slot. <clears throat> I don't think there would be a... Well, it could, but there wouldn't be a need, but they might be pulling there anyway. An 80,000 pound track, so pulling over that sidewalk. It's going to crush it. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened over in Marshall uh, by the corner store. They backed <clears throat> in with a dump truck full of that and dumped a bunch of rock and they crushed the sidewalk. Mm. Just happened six months ago. Um, Those four inch things aren't meant to hold more no. than eight to ten thousand pounds, which is basically like a, a car. So, I mean, if it's six inch concrete or reinforced with fiber stuff, just so you know, that's what I did in a formal life. I was just my, gonna my, say, oh, I forgot you're the concrete. My guy. dad owns a concrete company and he did residential concrete mm. for a long time. So, but yeah, they're not meant to hold up to you know triaxles of rock being hauled over them. Well, just so we're all aware, the solution, quick and dirty, cheap, whatever you want to call it, solution over there on that sidewalk on that parking lot, Jack's Jack's old used car lot, was just to do some milling on the pavement, take the pavement up to level the sidewalk. <clears throat> so that's the lower cost solution. Uh, the other solution is tear all that out and put in a concrete oh, yeah. entryway. So, I mean, that, that's that's what we are planning to do there as of today. Those inches <clears throat> are usually thicker in concrete, though. They're not yeah. four inches like a sidewalk would yeah. be. And they're going to have fiber reinforcements. So. Mm -hmm. But if they pull over your sidewalk, we that may. sidewalks are generally loose below it, whereas a parking lot is going to be compacted. Yeah. So it's going to hold more weight. Don't have any UMAC reports. Uh, more about I and I. Uh, SRF management asset uh, was well, asset A and P asset management plan for state revolving fund. I've saw a lot of work being done on that. <clears throat> Waterline inventory. Uh, data submission to Indiana H two O K H two's company, the software company, mm -hmm. for March six. Indot erosion control. What's this thing about the creek on thirty six West? Erosion control. Why does that affect us? It says west of town, utility coordination and progress. The only creek west of town is way out past Westwood Estates down at that first valley. <clears throat> I don't know. We don't have utilities out there. Do we, do we have water out that far? Well, we got water out there. <laughs> well, it could be a water thing. I, I don't know. Is that where it runs? That big pipe runs under 36 and used to go lots of water? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's a, <laughs> yeah. That, that's thing on, on, on his uh, list here. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's all he's got. Yep. Yeah. You might not hear what we got for old business. Well. <clears throat> 
I don't know. Shall we discuss? You want to say, Mark? Hmm? Moving on to new business. Okay, we'll move to new. Well, I'm just checking. <clears throat> <clears throat> So new business, what do you want to discuss? Well, we did have an executive session. We're going to talk about it or that of which we can or, I mean. We can't talk about it exactly. Well, I know we can't talk about what we talked about. But are we going to do any action on that? Is That's that how to say you guys. it? How to say it? Is that how you say it? Uh, I thought I was directed to push pause on that. No. No. I mean, we got to do something publicly, right? I mean, if we're going to do anything, it has to be in the public. Right, yeah, you can't do anything privately. All right. So. Well, the whole issue was, um, how do you phrase it? Uh, employee conduct. Professionalism. I think you have to table that discussion. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just bringing it up. What are we doing? Are we doing anything? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> legal counsel said table. Well, as far as I know, I mean, we're not ready to make any public statements on anything. Unless you're wanting to, I guess. And, uh, I don't know, I'm one of five. I'm just yeah. asking the question, where are we at? I guess if he says table, there's a reason. <clears throat> I, I think you had a table and have further discussion, be my opinion. But, I mean, that's up to you guys. Okay, well. I can't tell you guys what to do. That's what you want to do. That's what we'll do. I usually follow my own. Okay, well, Nick, appreciate the input. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we're under new old. I'm going to go back to cemetery. Uh, how many employees we have there? We have one full time. Uh, I, I guess we have part time labor in the summer. I want to hear from the rest of the board. Well, Mark. What? Randy, he's not part time just the summer, is he? Who is? Rodney. Okay. Yeah, he's part time. He's a seasonal. Spring, spring I mean, to fall. Okay, but we've laid in the fall. I mean, we had some. Yeah, well, October, it could be if, if the choice is to bring the summer help back in, in yeah. Yeah. addition to the new hires that we've already hired, um, it would be like in April to October. No. I mean, depending on, you know, how much they work, which they can't work over 32 hours, but. Well, anyway, back to the old cemetery and the new cemetery, both cemeteries. Yes, there is a new one at all. <laughs> You know, I just said by March 20th, I'm going to start recommending firing people if I don't see some action. In fact, man, everything's not done. That's what, 40 great? <clears throat> I'm just days. telling you, that's where I'm going in the month, folks. I don't know if I'm going to be there, but <laughs> I did, I did <laughs> to back Roger, me up, but that's yeah. where I'm going. I did tell Roger I would load him up here. Today would have been a good day to um, uh, and just have him show me 40. Just, you know, is it hyperbole? Is it, you know, be, Right, right. So well, you know, it us. sounds like it's the same thing that existed last fall, and and, and, and they just added to that over the winter. But, uh, you know, enough's enough. We, we, we have capable people, and there's a person that, uh, and I, well, I won't speculate. But, uh, you know, I, a month from now, um, <laughs> I will be making a motion that uh, will have consequences that uh, some people may not like. How many people are rolling in the cemetery? Well, just one. There's one one that's been there for 25 plus years. And, uh, yeah. of course, that person has a supervisor, too. Yeah. And uh, accountability is a bitch sometimes. <laughs> that's all I can say, and I'm going to hold some people accountable. Um, the fences, we had a lot of high wind, so if he took those well, those, the high wind, those so limbs, you know, that's a minor thing. It's the graves that they're upset about. Mm. There's like 40 that could be. graves that haven't it's, been taken. Yeah, it's just a compounding issue. It I mean, just keeps growing. Yeah. 
what do you do? I mean, other places. I know graves settle over time every year. <coughs> so that's why you crown it. Doing well, yeah, you crown it now over time, and you put, you know, and going back, cutting side, putting saw back, and then yeah. but crown them when you. I mean, they. they, they They've been doing it for centuries. I thought there was a recommendation to talk to that other group that for best practices. I mean, those two guys cover how many? They uh, how many? One centers? of them had a health problem, and I'm not sure. <coughs> well, you could do that. I think going back to uh, Mr. Cowan's comment earlier, it's not rocket science; it's dirt. Mm -hmm. uh, dirt settles. I, you know, I was told back in the day they put a hose in there and they got the dirt to settle after the, the, the burial and then they go in and fill it in and uh, used to they put salt back over it. <clears throat> it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, well, I... Uh, or just one thing, it, it, it's not in defense of anybody, but... <laughs> Don't you dare. Today would be a perfect day, but we're well, yeah. we're town employees off because of the present day. I have no idea. No. No, I know the post office is closed, bank is um, closed. They've been out and about. There's not a whole lot of feedback from, I mean, from from our meeting where we offered solutions and ideas and stuff like that. Feedback was right. Letters, 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 letters. Feedback was right here. I guess is my answer to that. That oh. should have been fed back. It should have trickled down. <coughs> we, we basically made the point at the time that you know you can't you can't take sod up and back home and expect. To <laughs> well, you can't do that. <coughs> Why we're not cutting sod well, again, you can speculate as to why we're not cutting sod. Uh, it's just was once upon a time they decided to stop doing it, and, and, and so they did. And so now they have this fight to put get grass to grow back. Uh, but hey, they, they can't even get the ground level, Melissa. So they're not or Melissa, Melissa, Liddy. I'm getting old. Right? Anyway, they can't even get the ground level back to where it was, let alone get grass to grow. Um, are they not mounting? I thought they were. Yeah. I don't know what they're, they're doing. All I know is not working. It's not been working for a few years. I guess they are mounting it, mm -hmm. but you know, again, if you're waiting for nature to take its course, yes, you have to have that settle down. There's got to be some follow-up after the mounting, and you've got to you've got to add more. You've got to add more. Um, again, I'm not going to tell them how to do their job after 28 years, but it's it was. I guess. I think we have 58 graves this past year. I, I, I don't remember. I mean, it's not like that's, Sounds a, that's right. a ton. Well, I know when Roger was in here last time and he invited us to come out and look at him, and I went out and Park went out, and he showed us several graves. There's definitely <coughs> issues out there. I mean, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. But well, we need to be taken care of. I mean, there's a sun cutter. Yeah, well, no, they don't. We would. Our recommendation was to go find it, to get some uh, prices on a used saw cutter, yeah. check the golf course, maybe they've got one they don't use anymore. Um, yeah. And again, we don't have an answer to that, but uh, we, Jeff's not here tonight, so he can probably answer that for us. But. I mean, Ace Hardware has one we can rent. As far yeah, as I, rent I mean, I'm not, I'm just saying it, you know, but I got you. it's not. I guess what they've been doing, I guess, is it, is it. It's basically, or roughly, it's, a, it's an ice scraper that's been sharpened or whatever, and they go around all the edges, and that's not the hard part. The hard part is scalping it off. So that's where the sod cutter, you can set that at a certain depth, you roll it up, you set it aside, bada bing, bada bing, the, the funeral's over, you roll it right back in there, you flood it with a, with a garden hose for a couple of days, and you're done. Well, there, I mean, there, there's, yeah, I mean, of course, I don't know that some things are, like, you know, when you have a ton of trees, usually it's hard to get grass to grow under some of those. Some of those mature trees you may not get good. Well, there was grass growing before they dug the darn grave. So I'm, I'm just saying, not everywhere. Some of that grass in the old cemetery, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know. Take up what's there, put it back. I don't disagree. Can't argue with that, as long as it's level. Well, I mean, there's a lot of issues that just... <laughs> For instance, dirt being on other headstones, and, and I mean, I mean that's that's just laziness. I mean, it's like take a broom and sweep it off. It takes two seconds. I mean, it's mm -hmm. Roger pointed out a few of them that had that. I mean, were like that, just randomly walking through that where a grave was right beside another. Well, grave. you know, we could beat this yeah. all night. All I, I know is thirty it's, days, March twentieth. I uh, probably unfortunately have to make some motions for termination. Mm -hmm. I doubt it's going to get done. <coughs> So I'm just saying that's where I'm at. I'm done with it. The hell with them. Do the work or get out of here. 
I have nothing yeah, else. Really? I think I'm going to go home and relax for a while. Anybody mm -hmm. else got anything? <laughs> I'm done.